Rescue teams pushing full steam ahead in Surfside with what was left of Champlain Tower South now completely gone. We have rescue crews working now in six different places. Operations are now moving much faster than they ever have. Workers now given the all clear, removing new debris and sifting through previously unreachable areas after demolition crews brought down the rest of the condo building Sunday night. Several more bodies pulled from the rubble. We worked very hard to bring this building down so we could get access to this pile, where it is hoped that there are voids that will allow us to continue the search and rescue operation. Officials insist it was the safest decision with Tropical Storm Elsa now closing in on Florida. And these winds could still be uh, quite strong across the area as well as locally heavy rain and localized flooding. More than 100 people are still unaccounted for, their families desperate for answers, and those who survived working on rebuilding their lives, their homes entirely destroyed. This is not about losing property. This is about trauma. Two nearby buildings were evacuated over the weekend, including Crestview Towers in North Miami Beach. 300 residents told to leave because an engineer found the building structurally and electrically unsafe. Coming home and I realized all this commotion, and that's when I realized that I have to get out. After this unthinkable tragedy, nearby cities are looking to bring other high-rise condo buildings into compliance with the 40-year recertification requirements. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.